Good morning, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com, and welcome. Thought I would just go over the FIO review. Played FIO yesterday on Friday. Really nice uh, little trade that I did in this and called in the StockSwitch show live trading room. And, and if you look at the bar in the day, it really doesn't look like much of anything. I captured, though, the whole move of this with the exception of, like, five cents. Really something. Really, really had a great entry and a great exit on this. So we'll go over it here in a minute. But this was just really follow through from the day before here, which was Thursday. I did this gap here on Thursday. This was the gap. This is a follow through continuation gap that happened here the next day on Friday. And really, I thought this would get down to $9. I, I really had a good exit on it because I, I was thinking, gosh, you know, is it going to go to 9 today? But I think the stock was just tired, tired and exhausted from the last two days, from the gap that happened here the night before. Because it had closed at 12.98, this was Wednesday night, and then it opened on Thursday morning at 10.30. So the stock in the last three days is just completely exhausted. I do think this goes to $9 and even breaks it at some point. Whether or not it'll be Monday or some point next week, we'll see. It might rally up to a level of resistance before it actually uh, breaks again. It's definitely going to break nine, though. I just don't know when. So here was the trade from Friday. And again, this is the kind of thing where if you don't know how to do uh, setups or entries or where to put your stop or where to take something, it really helps to be in the live trading room. This was a nice trade. And it really doesn't look like much of anything, but it was almost a four-hour trade. So just chunked on to my day here by doing this, besides the other main gap that I did on Friday morning. So here this opened, tried to rally, tried to rally, tried to rally, held, and you do it. You do it right here, and then I took a little bit more here, so my price was 973. Really, really nice. Stop was 81 here, and it dropped and broke and just never looked back. And even this bar here, you think, gosh, no, this isn't anything. It just is a little bit of a retest up into here, and you see where this retested the area of resistance here. And then it dropped and broke. And I got out of this here because it's almost 1030. Stock comes down, flips around, starts to go green. And, and here, this is almost a four-hour trade. So I took the whole thing off. I just got out of the whole thing, which was really, really a nice move. And all of this in just a very short period of time here. I mean, basically about 30 minutes, this trade was done. And it really, this really doesn't look like much of anything, except for the entry was perfect. The stop was beautiful. The risk to reward was great. And it dropped and broke. So it was literally an eight cent risk of the stop to make almost four R's. It was like 3.75 or something like that. Really, really nice trade. And again, if you just look at this and you didn't look at the price or the numbers, where to get in, where to get out, you think it's not much of anything, but it's a nice trade. And it was trading really well on Friday, just really well. I mean, the stock was really weak. And, and I was watching the 15 minute here. I, I even thought this was going to possibly set up as a breakdown play in the afternoon. But again, it's Friday afternoon and the stock's just tired and it just kind of pitted, pitted off here and just went flat. Just really like flat line the rest of the day. Beautiful, 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 nice uh, follow through and continuation in FIO from the bearish gap from Thursday and a really nice risk to reward trade on Friday as well. And up as soon as you take it. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. If you'd like more information on the upcoming Golden Gap class for November, uh, the date of the class for November is November 9th and 10th. So if you'd like more information, email me at Melissa at the StockSwitch.com. And this is one of these things you learn uh, in the GAT class, how to take entries, where to put the stops. And also, I call these live calls in the live trading room. So if you do the GAT class and then want to become a member of the Stocks with Show live trading room, you'll get calls like this to just take the trades with me because I'm saying it as I'm doing it and where I'm putting the stop. And uh, this was a really nice uh, second play on FIO. FIO was a good, good trade this week. Uh, paid me two days in a row, and that's really fun. Have a great weekend, everybody. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com, and I will talk to everyone soon.